The deadline for obtaining the completion certificate for the Solomart Design and Technological Bureau, scheduled for the end of March, is approaching. Therefore, all of the company's efforts in February were primarily focused on completing work on internal engineering networks, ventilation, cooling down, and smoke removal systems were being installed. Heating, lighting, and power supply works were performed on the third floor of the production building. Heat insulation of hot water supply pipes was carried out. The cold water supply system was pressure tested. There was started heating in the rooms intended for eating by the employees of the production area. Debugging of the software of the controller of the individual heating station was completed. Interior finishing of the building was also in full swing. In the administrative and utility building, the glass partitions of the offices were covered with a matte film. The offices have already started to be occupied by the employees. Partitions and doors were installed on the second floor of the building, and interior finishing of the rooms was underway. On the third floor, preparations for the installation of partitions began. Decorative panels of walls and ceiling on the first floor were installed. Cladding of elevators was performed. The cargo elevators were put into operation. In addition, turnstiles were installed at the administrative building entrance hall. Air heat curtains were installed in vestibules and airlocks. Equipment was installed in the control room. Sockets and switches were installed. Fire cabinets were connected. Electricity was supplied to the equipment in the workshop. Regular thorough cleaning of the territory was carried out to protect the equipment from dust. The Soloma studio moved into the Design and Technological Bureau, and the second warehouse was started to be equipped. Now Solomash is forming packages of documents to apply for construction completion. After March the 10th, representatives of the control and supervisory authorities should begin the preliminary inspection of the facility. They will formulate comments that we will need to eliminate before submitting the application for the completion of construction. Solomash specialists have started manufacturing a batch of parts for motor wheels. CNC lathers are involved in the technological process. The programs for the machines were written by the company's specialists. A batch of shafts for the motor wheels has been produced. It has been checked in the technical control department and shipped to the warehouse. As soon as all the parts are manufactured, the specialists will start assembly. On February the 8th, a group of leading and national partners, investors and employees of Solar Group, about 30 people from Russia and other countries, visited the Solomash construction site. They were given a tour of the engineering center by Alexander Sudarev and Evgeny Duyunov. Some guests managed to personally communicate with Mitri Duyunov. The visit to the Design and Technological Bureau will help the partners to share information about the project more effectively and attract investments. One of the Russian services for repairing cars, snowmobiles and other vehicles electrified a motorized tug vehicle. The task was to create a simple, reliable and inexpensive electrical equipment for operation in harsh winter conditions. We chose a motor with combined Wydex Slavanka DA95S, which is produced under license by ASPB Weihai. Masters installed it on the mini snowmobile, which they created and named Hedgehog, and conducted running tests. The range on a single charge amounted to 35 km at an average speed of 35-40 km per hour. Now they plan to put the snowmobile onto skiers, increase the length of the track, make another version of the battery and reduce the weight of the equipment. The engine will remain the same. The creators plan to use such transportation for rent and sale. On February 7th, in the live webinar of Solar Group, we summarized the results of the final round of the lottery, which lasted four months from October to January. One super prize was drawn, an electric car Chankan. It went to an investor from Russia, who has been investing in the project since the first stage. About 13,500 investors took part in all rounds of the lottery. It helped to increase the volume of investments compared to the same period in previous years. We thank you for your participation and active support of the project. Your investments help accelerate the construction of Solomash Design and Technological Bureau. In February, we opened the opportunity to increase the fully paid investment packages. This offer is especially favorable for you. If your closed package was purchased at the early stages of project financing, since you will be able to buy investment shares much cheaper than they're worth now, the promo is valid until March 31st. Hurry up to increase your package.